Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are starting a new series on the magnet fishing. So we are now going to be doing something with uh, the rock bridges of Cowley County. It's something that we've, my, my mom came up, uh, found out about. All these little spots are stone bridges throughout the county. Got a listing of them on the back here. We're going to be starting in today and we're, over the next few months, we're gonna try to start continuing uh, every couple of weeks going out and magnet fishing these spots and seeing what we can come up with. So it's gonna be a really neat ordeal going throughout here, seeing history, some of these date back, clear back in the late 1800s, 1890 is one of them. And the ones that we are gonna to try to hit today are the Rock Creek Bridge and the Stalter Bridge. They're only a couple miles away from each other, so we're gonna go ahead and try these out. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight on into uh, doing the magnet fishing and showing you guys See, uh, seeing what we come up with. But I'll go ahead and show you the bridge that we're hitting right now. This one here is the bridge and it's uh, kind of a neat ordeal. So it is definitely an older bridge, but it's a really neat one. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my gear and go ahead and start heading over there and start casting. <laughs> so you don't want to mount it fish, Bubba? No. Okay, so yeah. Featuring Mama today too. She was wanting to tag along. Hi Becky. <laughs> oh man. A whole lot of trees. That one's about to lean down. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't do it while we're here. Let's step away. All right, baby Becky, I need you to go over there with Bubba for now, okay? All right, first cast. <laughs> I got a little uh, nine millimeter or three eighty, whichever this is. Yeah, nine millimeter show. See? Oh, there's some mud in it. Yeah. Can I see? Show Becky. Hey, Dad! I found one too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, watch out, guys. Stay away from the ledge.
Besides, I can only, we only cast so far too, so. And I really don't feel like getting my magnet caught up in that stuff over there. No. I bet you there's some stuff down inside that too. Oh, yeah. If I was to hide something, that's where I would toss it is amongst that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn around where I'm parked. Yeah, because I don't think I don't think we're gonna get through that over there. You know dang well that uh, this road is only accessible because the county pressured the landowners around here to leave it open. Because yeah. this is a historical site. Got you got a BB? I got a BB. <laughs> 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 I might do that this weekend. The hunter safety course. Hey, found another one. A little, yep. Sure enough. <laughs> A little tiny one. Man, more moss. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Looks like snot. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, ah, I don't smell funky. Yeah. Okay, I think I might try this a little bit over here. Maybe. Yes, there is. Yeah. A lot of trees. I would try it right in here. Maybe drop it at the best. Yeah. You did? Ah. Yeah, it sounds like a Johnny Popper. Yeah. Why not pull out the old thing, you know? Yep. Okay. I'm not going to risk throwing it over there and uh wind up getting having to pull it out uh -oh. There's an animal living in that tree. all right so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next bridge and this one's stalter well we just left is rock creek and 
So we're gonna see what we got there. Yeah, the next spot is just right down the road. And we're gonna see what we can get there. We didn't get much of anything here. Just some BBs, square nail. Square nail. And, and uh, yeah, plenty of moss. Oh, yeah. And I think I, uh, I pulled up a steel casing of a nine millimeter Ruger. So go ahead and jump over to this next spot and see what we can pull up there. So we're coming over here to the Stalter Bridge and uh, we're on a go -kart. Yeah, this is uh, you might want to be careful, mama. <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, How long yeah. did I let you talk me into stuff? I don't know. Hey, you're the one that. Ooh. Uh, now it's dry. Look in the mirror. Well, well, not, you're not throwing anything up. Well, because I so. can't go past. Well, I mean, like, you're not, it's not wet, so I think we're good. <laughs> I can't uh, so, yeah, we'll see how this cut turns out. So, we decided to stop because there's water down there. We're up here. <laughs> so, uh, we're probably not going to hit this bridge today because it's uh, they're not wanting to come out, and there's nothing but water down here, seems like. So,. I at least want to show you guys this bridge. We may go ahead and come back late on a later date for this one, but I'm not real sure how that's going to turn out. So, uh, no, now knowing this, so here is the bridge. It's a nice little single arch bridge, and the craftsmanship in this thing is pretty neat. Uh, you see how the rock set up over there. And just see how everything's just neatly stacked across there. It looks pretty daggum neat. May not even be worth magnet fishing too terribly much. There is some stuff I see down in there. But like over there, there's a steel grate of some sort. And some other non-typical stuff down there in the bottom. But I don't know. May or may not come back later i don't know i always want to show you guys the bridge so i want to try to convince them to go ahead and try to hit one more so we actually have a magnet fishing video for you guys because don't want to leave you guys completely empty-handed on this uh because we're running short on time and we got out of there late and we had to make a few extra stops so i want to try to hit one more before we head out and go from there if not, you guys know we're here pretty quick on if we went ahead and hit it or not. So we'll go from there. All right, so let's hit it to convince them. So this is the Stewart Bridge Single Arch. 1904 is when it was built. Looks like there's plenty of trees down in there. Let's go check out the other side. Ugh. A game trail here. You good, Mama? Not right now, okay? okay. And it's the other side, so let's go ahead and grab the magnet and ropes and get to it. What do you found another casing? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a little 22 casing. Can you show it to them? Yeah, I am. It's already recording. <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'll single this up a little bit. All right, first throw here. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, what? Luckily, this water is clean enough. <laughs> There's a. Uh... No. No, no. I just happened to see a bunch of rocks and limbs down in there. So, look how clean the water is. Yeah. That is surprising. Yeah. Huh. I think I see a hand down there. A hand? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> you know, like to see what you see in.
nothing. <laughs> oh, look out! Oh, uh, the rope. Sorry, hon. The, the rope oh, went. No the rope went around. It's like, oh crap! <laughs> the keys are in my right pocket. You can drive in the in the vehicle, and then you can drive. You can <laughs> to call it quits for now we uh <laughs> we're running just running short on time today so uh hopefully we'll be able to next part next time we go to do this hopefully we'll be able to get somewhere where we'll be able to get something or other out of this so uh if you guys liked what you watch go ahead and check out the uh magnet fishing playlist and go ahead and check us out on youtube shorts instagram tiktok twitter and I think that's it. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. So I'll have those linked in the description below. And now on to the video verse. All right. So if you guys have been following along, we've, we're continuing on in Hebrews chapter 10. And we're doing verses 26 through 31. It says, for it will be deliberate for, for if we deliberately go on sinning after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins but a terrifying expectation of judgment and the fury of a fire about to consume the adversaries. Anyone who disregarded the law of Moses died without mercy based on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think we, one will deserve who has trampled on the Son of God who has regarded as profane? The blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and who has insulted the spirit of grace. For we know the one who has said, Vengeance belongs to me, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And that is Hebrews chapter 10, verses 26 through 31. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.